Previously on Hattrick Manager Game, we played a few league games where we beat what team 6 0 and then we lost 6 2 against FX Power and then we won against Karangu 4 0. We then move into a cup run round two, beat what team round three, we win 7 0. Lovely. And then we watch the next round here against Queen Victoria of England and we beat them in extra time. 100th minute and we go on to win. And then unfortunately we move on to round 5 and we lose 6-5. What a game. And then we made some profit by selling our players and reutilizing that money and buying new players. Good day ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and welcome to another episode of Hattrick Manager Game. We are now on episode 4. I am Duper Daddy. Let's get cracking. So we always do. We start off in our office and we paid 1.5 million for a new player called Clement Plantia. So let's have a quick look at him. So he's a world class defender, 13 passing solid. He cost me 1.5 million. Well, he's worth 1.5 million and I paid 1.3, did I? So yeah, so he's getting around 6, 6.5 star rating, which is good. Massive improvement to for 3.5 I'm getting. So I'm looking at doubling my star rating there on for position. So our new signing goes slots right into our defence there uh, for our next game. Make sure that we get those tactics put in um, before kickoff. And I also got all my games ready for, for Romano of the season. As you can see, we got a draw against Newark Rangers, 0-0. We was the better team. I'm very surprised that we didn't nick a win on this one. Chance distribution, 10 versus his one. Dominated possession, just going to get a breakthrough. Again, just you can call it unlucky or you can just blame the hat-trick match engine. But it's just unpredictable. I don't know how it works. I mean, it's meant to have improved, but... You look at those stats and you can kind of argue that he deserved a clean sheet in terms of look at those um, defensive 12, 13, 11. So it's like, yeah, we dominated, but he's he defended well, right? And then we've uh, got a couple of players improving on stamina and playmaking. Um, Jose Bira uh, goes up and he's playmaking to 11. So I bought him for 26k and he's now worth 666k. So big profit uh, there. Lovely. But we keep him in uh, in the club until he gets to 13, 14. And then we'll probably offload him. Depends. Uh, I need to put a bit of a master plan in place. We're currently fifth uh, in the league. As I've said that there's no way we're going to catch New York Rangers. Not a chance. But we've got quite a few games to go through and you'll see why. Um just because our form pretty much drops off. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell. Because we bought in that new defender, I'm going to sell our experienced Dean Goodall, who we started the team with. Um, been a great servant to a club, but we don't need him anymore. So let's get rid of him. And our first youth pool of the video. Obviously, we're looking probably about three weeks worth of footage here, so we might have three youth pools. He doesn't look too bad. Inadequate pass ball. I think I'm looking at the little chart we have uh, for, for youth, t uh, youth pools and just to try and make a decision because he's 15 years old, inadequate pass ball. To me, that's not a bad youth pool. So are we going to go for him? I've decided no, let's take a chance and go on. And 16 years old, weak, inadequate, no. And then we always take the last one no matter what. But we get a solid winger and he's 15. I was like, that's that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. A solid winger, 15. That means that as soon as he turns 17 and a half, I think it is, we can put him on a list and he's going to be a, a solid winger and we might be able to make a little bit of coinage there. And then I'm just fixing up my youth team because um, I think that we, every week, we'll, you're only allowed um, 18 players in your youth team 
Um, so if you want to do a youth pool, you have to get rid of a player. So I think there we got rid of a defender, um, probably sacked him or sold him, tried selling him first. Maybe it depends on his stats. So there's a new tactics review. Um, they're looking at for free match tactics of pressing attack on wings and attacking from middle just to balance it up. Uh, so teams that use and pressing against long shot tactic will now have a higher minimum chance of pressing away a long shot attempt. But again, for notes on for website, if you're new to hat trick, um, this probably won't be relevant to you yet. As you learn for game and it should be new to you, right? I mean, it's no change there if you're new. But if you're a current user, yeah, go on to hat trick, read about it and... Um, we will see. I don't really use any tactics. I just go normal at the moment. Um, just because, I again, trying to catch that top four. Maybe I need to look into tactics and get better. As you can see here, what a game. 8-4. Wow, you can tell that probably if Lee, FC and me, we just went all out attack. That's what it felt like. We played two games against them. So obviously we was away and we lost 8-4. And then we was at home. Um and we lost 3-1. Again, we're, we're not up to that standard with that top four yet. We will get there. We will get there. It's a patient game. And then a youth player, um, again, before youth pool. Uh, this is a player that I'm looking at. Well, he's got 5-5-6. Five, five, not too bad. But again, I don't think I'll get anything for him. But we always try. Uh, and then if we don't, after one attempt, I will just um, sack him. As you can see, we're currently on content team spirit. The norm, uh, norm is composed, so we're two levels up, which is great. Uh, still fifth in the table after losing twice to Ifly FC. We just need to watch that Wolf Club. I mean, he drew to, yeah, look, he drew to a bot team, nil-nil. And I was just like, wow, sorry, but you should have won that. That's that bot team's first points of the season. Um, so I'm not too sure what happened there, but that was a bit of a shock. And then we sell our second best youth player. He just didn't quite get there, I don't think, maybe of what we was expecting. I don't know if he was ever going to be a solid or anything, but not worth anything. And I just was kind of like, well, he was like my, maybe my second best youth player. He's good all rounder, right? He is literally five, five, six, five. And but because he's 18 years old, going on transfer list, F1's probably looking at a 17 year old. Um, but we got rid of him, I just took a chance, and he's getting old anyway, so we might as well just sell him. Uh, first youth pool, nothing. Second youth pool, weak, inadequate, 16 years old, no. And then we have a 16 year old, poor, weak, weak. We have to take him, he's just gonna sit on my bench. Now, this seems quite interesting. Uh, your mission, should you choose to accept it? So I think they're going to put some challenges within Hattrick of some missions. And then you'll probably get rewarded for completing those missions. I don't know. Um, avoid relegation. Yeah. Sign a player for £1 million. Create a youth player to get to, I don't know, playmaking 14 or something like that. And you just get random missions, maybe. Big great idea. And our last game of the video, we lost 4-1 to New Rangers. So... From a nil-nil at our home, we dominated the game, but their defence just managed to keep a clean sheet because their defence looks amazing. Um, and then we played them away and we get battered 4-1 again. Just shows the distance we are away from them. So our last youth pool of the video, who are we going to get? Week, week, no, move on. Weak, weak, inadequate, 16 years old. Now I'm going to say no, obviously. And then cool, poor, inadequate. No, nothing. So we got that solid winger on our first one. Um, it just shows you just don't always get one, right? And then David Furk, I noticed that he had a sending off. It must have, he must have occurred some yellow cards. So our best striker, we're going to have to take him off for our next game. One of our faithful players, Dean Goodall, now sold. Sad to see him go. Uh, shouldn't be sad. Should celebrate his achievements with our club. He got us into Division 5 twice, so fair play to him. And just uh, Patrick Ludwig, he pinged again in playmaking. It's amazing. That like he's pinging left, right and centre. Went for 1.3 million and he's now worth 2.3 million. That's a million profit. 
right there. But I want to keep him. I want to keep him. I think he's uh, he's going to be an amazing player for our team over the next coming seasons. But just shows like if you train by for the right player, you can make some good money on this game. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. And then another one, profit again from training. And Clint Lou, our second best youth pool, was in our team and we fired him. Because he just wasn't selling. I tried him two, three times. No one wanted him. So if he, I think if he had solid, say solid playmaking or solid scoring, he would have went for quite a bit of money. Um, but it is what it is. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on for the next one.